So today is Thursday. We are three or four days out. This weekend on Sunday is Battle on the Beach. My first outdoor event of the year, I suppose you could call it. Uh, I'm going for a ride this morning once I can be fairly sure it's going to be dry enough to be able to do the first half of it at least without getting rained on. And I'm going to be doing more threshold work. The last video I was talking about over and under intervals versus classic intervals. Well, today I'm following on from a lot of the workouts I've been doing over the last two weeks, three weeks. And I want to do a route that takes in possibly five or six climbs. They'll be varying lengths, but I kind of want them to be like around about 10 minutes, eight to 10 minutes long. And they're going to be spaced out a little bit, um, a bit random, but I am going to try and organize it so that they have fairly similar rest periods in between. And I'm going to ride up them, you know, target wise, probably around like 350, 340 watts. So a little bit more than what I've been doing on these longer intervals, but obviously because these climbs are going to be shorter, then I can afford to go a little bit harder, but I'm not going to be going over um, threshold. Uh, so that's today's workout, probably around four hours. Oh, in other news, I had a photo sent to me of the official Continental Tire magazine. Sounds a bit weird of this year and on the front of it is Tom Pitcock right obviously in the Tour de France obviously team in the Austin right continental tires but in like the center fold pages or maybe not the center fold but like in the middle of the book there's a double page spread of me taken by a good friend of mine who's a very good photographer Chris Old who also travels around with world tour teams and takes photos he was there last year at the National Hill Climb Championships and he took this cracking photo which has made this magazine and it's the like cover for the road section for the tires of Continental Tires. And I've bought Continental Tires for years. I've, I've, I've switched between tires. I've run Hutchinson tires in the winter. I'm just trialing them to see how they go. They're going fine to be honest. Don't mind me. Just stretching. Getting ready. With my tight hips. <laughs> Uh, I have a 8.5k climb at 4%, I have a 3k climb at 5%, 1k at 7%, 5k at 5%, 2k at 8% and 3.5k at 5%. The last climb comes about 70 kilometers in and this whole route is about 110 kilometers. So I hope it's going to take me about 4 hours. Um, which probably sounds a little bit slow, but bearing in mind where I live, uh, I very rarely do I get an average speed over 28 kilometers an hour. In fact, I think probably the default average speed around here for me is like 25 to 27 kilometers an hour. If I average anything over than 28, it either has to be a perfectly flat route or it has to be like no wind. Uh, and I can't go down any lanes, like narrow roads, like descents, because generally you can't go fast down them anyway, in case, you know, you meet a car head on. So generally speaking, it's quite slow riding around here. And also don't forget as well that if I'm riding steady, generally that'll be around like 200 watts, for example. 200 watts of raw power doesn't, necessarily move you along a flat road ridiculously quickly um if i was doing 250 in my experience it can probably get me closer to like you know over 30 kilometers an hour um and but yeah we're not even like it doesn't matter it doesn't matter does it i mean it's essentially you're on a training ride you're not doing a race or anything so it only really matters when i'm racing and things so uh, today's ride, although we're going to be doing those climbs, I do want to set like a secondary goal, aside from like fueling, I've got my little saddle, uh, saddle, yeah, my saddle's at the front, 
handlebar bag. I've got my Sturka gels in there. I've got um, four 30 gram gels. I've got one 50 gram gel. I haven't got any solids today because, well, we haven't got any, any bars. I didn't get any, forgot to get some yesterday. So it's all gels and uh, liquid carbs today um, and electrolytes as well. Um, so we'll see how that goes because it's been a while since I've done a ride on no solid food of this length with intensity mixed in as well. Um, and how I'm preparing for this ride today is similar to how I prepare for most key sessions. Uh, and it's the same way that I would prepare for an event. So I would try to cr create a routine that becomes like automatic, not automatic that I do it every day because I certainly don't. Um, you know, life gets in the way, but for the key workout days, I try to make sure that I have a routine that I know I can follow and repeat and hopefully brings me my best performance. Um, and yeah, I certainly think that that ha plays a massive role in both physical and mental performance. Well, first effort is done. It was almost 20 minutes in length actually. Over the top of the moors there, down to Ammonford. That's one of the best climbs in the area. Better than the Black Mountains in my opinion. And uh, yeah, like, yes, there's a little bit of a break in between, but it was almost 20 minutes at a normalized power of 340. So that was good. So through Ammonford now, just down there, is going to be the road that the 10 mod TT section of the Ammonford Sprint Try, I think it is this weekend. So good luck to all those doing that triathlon. It's a great icebreaker. Not that I've done it. Not yet, anyway. minutes in 26.8k an hour average so we got 0.2k an hour to make up <laughs> but no in all seriousness so far everything's gone really well the intervals to plan we've got about 30 minutes on the clock at around that intensity and at the minute like I said it's all it's all just accumulating so it's like two days ago we did a uh, a five by 15 minute threshold session which is really sort of yeah put me in a bit of a dark place in that last 15 minute block but we're still we're still here and one day rest and we're doing this so my legs are still feeling it a little bit but again you know we're in a place now where we're just accumulating and building so I've got about another five minutes to make the next climb and this one's a fairly long one. It's going to be about 10 or 15 minutes again. I can hear you laughing at the back. Those of you that live in the Alps. <laughs> That's long for, for here. We are riding on the road that the Tour of Britain team time trial came on a couple of years ago and they were absolutely rapid along here. We've had road races on this road and like those team time trial teams are so fast that they like wiped every single Strava segment out. <laughs> Just have to wait for a tailwind down here now. <laughs> well, that last climb, which is about 15 minutes, those of you that are local will know it as Mysa Bont or the Mast Climb. A perfect example there of um, sort of 
I was talking about undulating intervals and steady state intervals when it comes to threshold. Like that climb is very up and down, especially the top section. There's a couple of bits where like you go from being on like a 10% gradient to like literally going downhill at 30 mile an hour. Edges are too high, I can't show you the lovely view of the uh, Gwendroth Valley, but the sun's come out now and it's positively warm for spring anyway. I mean, it's like 13 degrees. Now I'm overdressed. This morning I wasn't, but now I am. So, not complaining. We got one more effort left to do, one more hill. Oh my word. What on earth? Tell you what, there's been so much flooding in this area last uh, last two months. It's just mud and, and the crap on the road is unbelievable now. Anyway, I was saying, one more effort and it's gonna come about two hours, 40 minutes in. We're just 2000 kilojoules now. Um, other data, we've climbed 1500 meters. Uh, 271 watts normalized and 26 kilometers now average speed. After this final climb though, that's it, it's pan flat for pretty much the last hour. So I'm uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that 27k an hour like there's no doubt about that now. But I have to resist the temptation on this last effort. I know I feel good and yeah the energy today has been good, fueling's been good as well. Nothing bad to say about it, to be honest, so far. If I get this effort done without pushing myself too much, if I stay to the plan of about 350 watts, it should be about another 10 minute effort and we'll be very close then to nearly an hour's worth of time today at that intensity. So it'll be a, a quarter of today's ride by the end of today. We'll be spent around about 340, 350 watts. Yeah! Well, I made it back, but I did get an absolute soaking in that last 25 minutes. You could see it coming. You could see the grey clouds rolling in. It went really dark. I was like, it's gonna happen. And, but I, I suppose it means I don't have to wash the bike as much because a lot of the mud that was dried on was now washed off. But <laughs> there's positives to every situation. I'm gonna have a recovery drink now, which is um, semi skin milk. And I sometimes alternate between oat milk and semi skin milk, but it really depends on what I fancy. I do like. I, I do like milk, I have to say. And one scoop of PhD Smart Protein. Chocolate cookie flavor, plant protein. So I know it doesn't really, plant protein and milk, I mean, that's the ultimate crossover, isn't it? But yeah, there we go, it is what it is. Happy days. Right then, we are a day or two days out from Battle on the Beach. As you can tell, I'm off-road, getting the last ride in on the LS so that uh, I know everything is still working on it. To be honest, it needs a new bottom bracket, it needs uh, new bearings, um, needs new wheel bearings as well. Uh, but I've been putting off a lot of things. Well, in fact, it means I've got mismatching tires. You're not going to like that. Uh, I've got a Panaracer Semi Slick on the front and a Hutchinson Tundra on the back. Um, 
it is what it is. I, I slashed the sidewall in the front one uh, not that long ago. And I didn't want to buy another set of tyres when the only reason why I got the Tundras, to be honest, was because in the winter I found that the grip on them and my riding buddies who were off road, they were just able to ride things that I wasn't able to ride. And part of that was down to the fact I'm a little bit terrible at riding on uh, muddy terrain such as that there, although I would never be going after that, maybe don't it. And Tundras, the other guys are riding, they were doing really well, but maybe it was just because they're better bike riders than me. Anyway, that's why we're running mismatched tyres. So this weekend, at Battle of the Beach, I will go through my setup in that video, which will be the next video you can look forward to. And, of course, because we're only two days out, I did that big ride yesterday, which went really, really well. Um, the threshold climbing ride. That last interval was a little bit tasty. Uh, it was still 10 minutes long at about 350 watts. I mean, it was still ideal. Like, I didn't, I didn't feel like that was my limit. I'm not sure if you can hear me now because of the wind. But, uh, yeah, I'm just heading out for 90 minutes. I've chosen this route so that I can actually talk to you at a certain time on my Wahoo auto pauses. And uh, I can get this uh, really nice arty view of the valley. But anyway, two days of, I'm just gonna freshen up a little bit and hopefully it'll just give me some nice sensations on Sunday at the event because generally, I wouldn't dedicate, you know, a proper period of peaking to something like this because this is more for fun. There's a couple of events I do every year, mainly for fun or for fitness rather. Uh, I remember thinking, you know, for the most part, when you are trying to just increase your riding time and your volume and everything else, sometimes it is worth just having events that you can do to uh, to play a part in moving that needle. Not every event has to be, you know, your best event or your peak event. So two days to just freshen up a little bit. Starting today, Friday, Saturday, I probably do a little bit of endurance, but nothing substantial. And then that'll be it. We will. Uh, battle on the beach on Sunday so that's gonna be the next video guys thank you so much for tuning in if you're new please subscribe to the channel and if you're not new like the video <laughs> I really appreciate it helps the channel out a lot especially this time of year when there's not much going on but yeah thanks for tuning in I'll see you in the next one